Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another Genshin Impact video. When you have progressed to adventure rank 30 or above, it could occur that you think you have nothing more to do. Well, there is actually a lot that you could still do. As soon as you log in for the day, the game is telling you how much resin you have on hand. Start using this immediately to have a greater window of regeneration. Your characters might need a specific set of artifacts, so you can choose a domain with that set to farm for. Your characters might need a weapon upgraded. Check the adventurer's handbook to see if the upgrade materials in today's rotation. Then do that domain for the amount of materials you need. Your characters might need talents upgraded. Check to see if the mastery domains offer those talents books today and farm for the specific domain. If you want to ascend your characters, you will need materials from the six world bosses. If you need to ascend your animal character, for example, farm the animal hypostasis. If you need a pyro character ascended, farm the pyro rages vine, and so on. This is how you should handle your resin every single day as optimally as possible. Remember, wait for Sundays to do the weekly bosses in case you level up your word level, or if you're sure that you're not gonna level up your word level, do it at your own leisure. Like I know I will hit AR 35 in 2 days, so I will just do the weeklies on Thursday. No way in hell I would hit level 40 before Sundays, but I digress. During the lookout for domains or world bosses, you will be able to grab those dailies along the way. After a certain adventure rank, you will be introduced to story quests that need to be unlocked with keys. You get these keys every 8 dailies commissions you complete. So doing these daily commissions will benefit both your Primo Gem collection, your Battle Pass Ascension and your story quest unlocks. Be sure to do these every single day. Throughout the world you will find mining deposits. It so happens that you need to mine 10 times for the Battle Pass daily, but these mining deposits also have a cooldown. So it's smart to optimize this cooldown and visit Crystal and Corlapis deposits every day with a Claymore wielder. There are a couple of interesting spots on screen right now. Pin these on your map in the game as well and visit these every day to farm Crystal, Corlapis and other materials for weapon crafting and ascension. I know for a fact that Kaching needs Corlapis to ascend, so it's really necessary to gather these materials whenever you can. During these visits you will travel Mondstadt and Liyue. Try traveling on foot as much as you can because you will need to grab region materials as well for ascensions and talent levels. You can see some specific locations on screen as well. Visit these every day to collect a lot of materials on cooldown. While we're traveling the world, you will come across chests and mobs all over the place. It's very wise to follow some routes for chests and or mob farming. You will get a lot of Mora, artifacts, primo gems and AR experience doing this. You could check on the Genshin interactive map for some routes for artifacts or mobs. These routes will have chests as well. But you could also visit those precious and luxurious chests separately as well with this method. The world is filled with elites. These are the Fatui Shishin Mage, Abyss Mages, Ruin Guards, Whopper Flowers, you name it. These can be found all over the place and when you're using the Adventurer's Handbook, you can select an elite and follow the navigation. After defeating the elite you can click on navigate again and another one will be marked. You can keep on doing this on a single elite until it says it's on cooldown. Then you will proceed to the next elite. A great way to farm materials and elite rewards. Now for the bonus. The spiral abyss is something that you can push in your downtime or just for fun. There are an unknown number of floors in this abyss, currently 12 but there will soon be more. And each floor has 3 chambers. Each chamber has 3 stars to collect when the objectives are achieved. Every 3 stars on the floor will award you with primo gems. But every chamber itself will grant you with rewards as well. If you haven't done this before, floor 3 chamber 3 will award you with a free jungling. And floor 6 chamber 3 will award you with a 5 star artifact. The reason I named this as a bonus is because I'm working on a detailed video to conquer the abyss. Interested? Good. Subscribe and ring the bell to receive a notification when that video drops. I hope this video was helpful to you and I thank you for watching this video to completion you absolute legend. Please give the video a like so others can enjoy the content as well. This was Galaxy Brain Glitchy, have a good one. Well, let's not break out the joy just yet. Oh.